Congressman, welcome back to the show. Great to see you. Hey, Jerry. Why, Thank you so much. Why can't we get traction on this? This is ridiculous. Well, I have no idea. It needs to come from the American people across this land to express their incredible frustration with the Senate. The House has been working as diligently as we can to really positively solve the challenges that we face. We put the bills in the Senate's lap. It's a do-nothing Senate. I believe the President and Harry Reid are complicit in this. Uh, that For some reason, a huge lack of leadership, uh, the Senate refuses to respond to the American people. Uh, they need to hear loud and clear from folks to say, look, you got to do a budget. Families do budgets. Businesses do budgets. The, the nation needs to do a budget, so the Senate ought to take up our budget. Well, you know, your opposite number in the Senate, Ken Conrad, uh, he's put together a budget, but it hasn't gotten anywhere. What's going on with that, and have you talked to him? Well, I haven't talked to Senator Conrad, but I have talked to some senators who, who express incredible frustration that they aren't able to get their, the, the, the budgets to the floor to be able to provide a framework for, for spending in this country. Uh, we've had four straight years under this president of trillion dollar plus deficits. Uh, when you don't have a budget, then the sky's the limit. Uh, that's the important reason for having a budget, because then it sets the parameters for the spending for the coming year. Uh, the House has acted, as you well know. Uh, we've taken on the big challenges of Medicare reform, Medicaid reform, Social Security reform, uh, making certain that states have, have the kind of flexibility that they need to, to uh, provide for their programs. The Senate needs to act. It's a do-nothing Senate. American people are sick and tired of it. You know, it's one continuing resolution after another, and I, I think people have just come to the end of their rope with this, and I think they're going to they're going to tar all of you with the same brush. They're going to say all of you have to go. I mean, do you feel like there's any real incentive to act, or are we just waiting till after November? No, well, I hope we're not just waiting till after November. But I, but I tell you, the American people are smarter than that. They they know that the House has been acting. Uh, they know that we put bill after bill after bill for job creation, for health reform, for energy uh, uh, exploration and production in this country to make us energy self-sufficient, for job creation uh, and budgets. Two budgets that we put out over the past two years that will address the challenges that we face. They know that the House has acted and that the Senate won't. So I call on, on folks all across this great land to call your United States senators. Say, let's get a budget done. Let's be responsible. Let's do the things that American families and businesses have to do. Well, you know, people are expressing their frustration with this in polls, and a recent one says this, 76% of adults say they are more likely to support a candidate who will fight for balance and fairness. Uh, what does this tell you? Well, it tells us that the American people are sick and tired of Washington business as usual. Uh, that's why we put a balanced budget amendment on the floor of the House. We believe that there ought to be a balanced budget of the United States of America, and, and it didn't pass because it takes a two-thirds majority to pass, and we couldn't get the kind of support that we needed from the Democrat minority in the House of Representatives. Uh, that being said, the Senate hasn't passed one either, and the President apparently doesn't support one. Uh, there needs to be balance. There's no doubt about it. And in our budget, what we did is close loopholes, what the President talks about all the time, close some of those tax loopholes so that we can broaden the base, lower the rates, and get this economy going again. We need job creation across this land. We need Washington to get out of the way. And we need a sense of fairness across this country in terms of job creation and getting the economy rolling as opposed to fairness in terms of the president's tax rates, increasing spending but not decrease, increasing taxes but not decreasing spending. Well, you know, you've got a long way to go. The, the fall is going to be a tough, tough time as all this stuff comes to the forefront. Appreciate your time, Congressman. I hope you'll come back soon. Thanks, Jerry, so much. I look forward to it. Thank you.